Take two. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, the reason I titled this Serial Killers was, real quick, just to give you a little backstory about Harvey Diamond. Um, he was not a doctor. I did misspeak. He was the director of... Uh, what is it? It's right on the back here. The Director of Nutrition for the International Health Systems in Santa Monica, California. And his wife was a New York University Certification in Nutritional Counseling from the American College of Health and Science. So the backstory of this book was Harvey Diamond was, uh, he served our country uh, during the Vietnam War and was one of the many unfortunates to be exposed to the contaminant Agent Orange. And uh, many of you, I'm sure, have relatives or know relatives that uh, that was a very lethal substance and and a very slow and painful death for, uh, for both our enemies and our veterans. And Harvey Diamond was actually one of the longest living survivors with Agent Orange because of his work in, you know, that he founded in nutrition. So... One of the things that um, he was really adamant on that I remember reading back in the uh, back in the early 80s was that the Food and Drug Administration does not require they require ingredients to be listed in a product, but they do not have to list the processes or the ingredients in the processes that get them there. So one of his big um, I guess pet peeves was uh, the the component called lye, which is really lime and not the lime off a lime tree, but the lime chemical. Um, so I just started putting together just some little, some thoughts, but well, there we go. Lye is a, is a type of chemical. So he really gets into, you know, that it, it you know, lye is a chemical and that it's actually used in a lot of products that might surprise you that our foods and especially our cereals are being processed with. So then um, I look up sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is known as lye and caustic soda uh, is an inorganic compound with a formula NaOH. It is a white solid ionic compound consists, yep, consisting of sodium cations, Na+, and hydroxide anions, OH negative. So I don't know, I did not take science in high school, and I, I'm sure I'm going to get some backlash from this, but I started to do a little more research about what I learned back in the 80s, and that was this. Sodium hydroxide or caustic soda, a.k.a. lye. It's a corrosive product. Um, wear protective gloves, eye and face protection. So that was kind of alarming to me, although I do remember, you know, researching it out back then. But uh, lye is very, very toxic. And I thought this was just, you know, in favor of lye. It was just a nice color for a little illustration here. And then the chemical components or breakdown of it. And that is the sodium hydroxide structure. And you're going to see hydroxides and uh, hydrochlorides a lot on your, on the labels that you, uh, that you should be reading. So this was kind of interesting as well. He also got into a tangent in his book about oils, how there are, uh, you know, so many negative oils, canola oil. Um, uh, what were some of the other ones? And of course, I'm going to draw a blank. Well, you know what? It'll be in the ingredients as we go on uh, in there. But when you add heat to the oils, it now becomes an Na compound or a soap or a glycerin. So... You're just adding heat to it, which is done in the processing of many of our cereals, um, adds the added uh, element of surprise there. So this leads me, or and this is what his big pet peeve was, hydraulic cements. For an example, Portland cement. Set and become adhesive due to a chemical reaction between dry ingredients and water. The chemical reaction results in mineral hydrates that are not very water-soluble and are quite durable in water and safe from chemical attacks. 
This allows setting in wet conditions or underwater for further uh, and further protects hardened materials from chemical attacks. So basically, this is the concrete that's holding up our bridges. It's poured underwater. The difference between concrete and cement is concrete has aggregate or rocks mixed into it. And cement is better may maybe known as the parging, you know, that people put on the side of their house. The chemical process, hydraulic cement, was founded by ancient Romans who used volcanic ash with added lime or calcium oxide. So um, he goes through that in his book, but I'm just kind of pulling up some pages for the fun of it. So I shoot into the store and I start taking some pictures of labels. And basically just a, a cup and a quarter, I still can't get this mirrored imaging down, of this particular cereal. Um, I did note that, you know, I just kept seeing the redundancies of sodium, of folic acid. Um, I have some highlighted things down here as well. Your hydroxide, your thiamine hydroxide, um, just the, the different components that are on some of your cereal labels. And it just dawned on me really today as I started going through this, and this one's a little harder to read, so I'm just gonna turn this around. Um, just I do want you to note that, hey, for what it's worth, this is fat free. And it really has no nutritional value in it. But what I wanted to read was highlighted very small at the bottom. Um, ingredients, milled corn, sugar, malt flavor, um, ferric phosphate, which is basically iron, and hydro and thiamine hydro hydrochloride. So that was just that one. It's fat-free, but it's got zero nutritional value. And this one as well is rather small. But again, I just want you to hear the redundancies of the ingredients. Sodium, um, barley, canola oil, corn syrup. That was one of the other oils that I was looking for. And molasses. In his book, Harvey Diamond goes ballistic on molasses. And he actually breaks it down into its uh, more common form, turbinado. And it is really, a really, really bad thing to put in the human body. And you would have to read the book. But Turbinado, I found what I thought was a healthy uh, place um, down towards my area, not, not my favorite over in Washington Township. But they were taking scoops of Turbinado and putting it in their, their healthy green smoothies. And turbinado is probably one of the most harmful things you can put in the human body. So again, for the redundancies, you know, you've got your hydrochlorides and whatnot. So all this put aside, all the chemical components are there for lye, lime, cement. Um, you've got the caustic soda, which is lye. And then it dawned on me, where have I seen all of these ingredients on one packaging before? Ta-da! And it was ice melt. And you've got your sodium chloride, your calcium chloride, your magnesium chloride. And it's, it's just, uh, it's just ironic to me that all of these components are used in processing our foods, but don't necessarily have to be listed as an ingredient label. So, I know when it comes to science, I ain't no Edward Einstein. <laughs> See what I did there with the Edward? Um, Albert Einstein. Um, I, and when it comes to chemistry, you know, I, I can hardly spell H2O. But you have to start to connect the dots. When you start seeing acid, iron, um, lye, and, and just all these things, you got to put it together. Why? is our underwater cereal staying crunchy. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's not listed as an ingredient. So that was just my video for the day. It's uh, called Cereal Killers. Not meaning to upset anyone, but just trying to get you to think about what we're putting into our bodies and what we've been trained as healthy, fat-free, good for you, must-have meals, and those type of things. So as always, I thank you for your time. If you found any value in this, please uh, feel free to leave a comment. Click uh, like and uh, click like on Facebook. Please click like and subscribe on my YouTube channel, uh, Glenn Wasmer, or my health-related hashtags. Hashtag DTMS. Does this make sense? 
the the numeral two and the letter U. Does this hashtag, does this TTMS to you? Does this make sense to you? And none of that did, I know. All right, God bless. Good night.